Hydroponics is an up-and-coming trend these days for home gardeners who would like to try the little avant-garde kind of gardening. We can do this using gutters for our roof. We can grow them in self-contained watering units. Here in this small research plot, we're seeing tomatoes that were started in January, so we're about three months into it. A water supply line comes to each pot. The excess moisture is drained away. As the plants grow, they are then trained and secured on these strings, as you can see here, for support. Because tomatoes don't need to be pollinated by insects, they are wind pollinated, or just the fact that we've jostled them will share the pollen about. We have the opportunity then to grow our tomato varieties indoors in a heated area, essentially using water with the media for their roots to rest in. Many times it's perlite or maybe perlite and a bit of peat moss, and this is what keeps them going so well. If we look here to the left, this particular vine is about a year old. To keep the top of the plant in production as the plant grows higher, they just lower the string, wrapping the green stem along the soil line and letting it crawl back up vertically into an area where it's going to get the best production. Mm -hmm.